Chocolate mugs. <laughs> So full, so from eating at Wilton's. Denise made breakfast this morning and I stuffed myself again. Oh, it's cool. Back in the woods, on trail, hanging out with some other hikers a little bit. It's a good time, man. That's pretty water. All oh, the trees down. I think this is still from that hurricane. That's crazy. And there was an area flooded. So it's a long roadwalk reroute. And here we are. Two penny bridge. She bouncy. <laughs> hey, Pun. <laughs> I was just recording the insane elevation loss again. Oh, yeah. It was intense. Oh, there's like a waterfall thing over there. Well, there's spillage from a side creek. Fender Bridge. Through here. Meaning, like, you just can't follow for a little bit. I think that's Tupelo Spring, I'm guessing. I mean, it looks like there's a spring under there, and the water is much clearer. Well, hello. All the minnows. It's awesome. Erosion. I think it looks nice. So go past Strickland, yeah, to that second one. It's crazy to see how this area is still so affected by this Hurricane Michael a couple years ago. And all this clear cutting. Some guys we talked to earlier said that's the reason for the flooding around Rattlesnake Lake because they cut out all these trees, lost the root structures, and the water doesn't absorb as well. Thank God for those little flags today. <laughs> I think that's Porter Lake, anyway. There's this reroute situation because there's like severe flooding at Rattlesnake Lake. I guess as a result of the clear cutting. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we looked at some of the different routing options earlier. You could like stay on dirt roads, um, you could go down to the highway, a couple options. Uh, but we did see also that trash oak had cut down to the CCC road and then back up Ica, Iconofina road. I don't know. There's a little bit of a bushwhack in there. And that's what we, I guess, that's what I thought we were all doing. But I guess they decided to just stay on the dirt road. So they're all ahead of me. 
That's all right. It's been pretty cool through here. It's like real sandy. There is still a lot of burn area, but there's all these new growth pine trees. Apparently they're trying to put the longleaf pine back in this area because they had planted some other kind of pine that grows faster and is more quickly harvested. But now they're trying to restore it to its natural, natural pine state. So I'm seeing all this stuff. And I don't know. I kind of got a lot in me today. I might go a little bit farther. I'm not sure. There's this gas station like seven miles away and they have milkshakes and fried chicken. <laughs> I did camp behind there last year because there was this crazy storm with a flood flash warning. I don't know if that's like a normal thing to do though. And I don't really want to camp behind the gas station, but I do really want the milkshake. So I gotta think about this. Make a good choice. <laughs> Just about done with our road walk. Came from Chevron where we camped last night. Had some police officers wake us up at 1 a.m. They're like, what are y'all doing? We're like, uh, we're camping. We're on the Florida trail. And he was, or we're on trail. And he was like, what trail? It's a Florida trail. And he was like, oh, well, it's 1 a.m. I'll let you go back to sleep. That was fun. I also overate to the point of throwing up last night honey buns and tamales. Probably won't ever have that again. Either of them. But definitely not together. Off the highway, got onto some dirt roads, walked under some power lines. It's been a bit muddy, but we've been hopping around it like little forest ninjas. Nice to be back in the woods. Ooh, I saw a pitcher plant today for the first time. So cool. We're walking to Dollar General so I can get some ginger ale. And here we go, getting free honey bells. Real benches. I'm so freaking excited. I miss leaning back. Just...